Good news. It's October 19th, 2008. And the farmer has finally showed up to take off the beans so we can go ripping around in the field. Now the bad news. He wants to plant winter wheat this year. Well, that means he's going to be planting his winter wheat real soon. So hopefully we get a chance to ride on the fields before his wheat is planted because that stuff's got to grow in the fall and then take off in the spring. Too bad. But there is some good news about that. In July, the winter wheat will be harvested and then we'll have the whole rest of the season to go riding and have as much fun as possible and all the racing and stuff we'll do. Cool. Now back on to today's project. Last night we sunk that van. Motor was completely submerged. Well, that big wet spot is actually what came out of the oil pan. It's almost all water, a tiny bit of oil came out and I saved the rest of the oil. I've now got all the spark plugs out. Well, except one. That one is seized solid, so I hope there's not too much water in that cylinder or it will prevent me from cranking the motor. I got the distributor cap off. I'm still drying it out. So, I'll give her a crank right now and see if it'll crank with that one spark plug still in in the water. I hope I can depend on my dodge. Oops. Well, there's definitely some water in that cylinder. Damn it! Well, I'll have to keep trying to get that spark plug out without breaking it. Oh well. Too bad. I believe she's a good motor anyways. You can always depend on your dodge. Success! I finally got that plug out. So now let's try again to see if she cranks. Oh, I gotta hook the battery up. Yes! Perfect! Now just gotta dry out the spark plug some more. Be all set. Sweet. So, we're all set. So long as the computer and electronics hasn't uh, buggered up from being underwater. All the plugs are back in. Let's see what's gonna happen. Got a raincoat on the seat because the seat's soaking wet. And here we go. Oh, gotta hook the battery up. And here we go. Not even a sound. Uh-oh. Does the fuel pump work? Sounds like it. Oh, that ain't good. Let's hold the pedal down. Uh-oh. We'll have to check and see if it's got spark. Too bad. So, to crank your Chrysler without a key, you unplug this wire that goes near the battery. It has a black one and a brown one. And you stick a jumper wire in and touch it to positive. And I can check if it's got spark then. Let's see. No spark. Uh oh, that's not good. Well, time to check the fuses. Or the computer's bad, one or the other. Well, I'll have to let it dry out for a few days and see if it makes a difference. We still got no spark.